In this video, I'm going to show you the best blitz beater in Madden 22. And if you're new to the channel, I would like to ask you to hit the subscribe button. It's free. And what we do here on the channel is we talk about Madden. We get better at Madden. We learn Madden uh, in, through, and throughout the season. So we try to post videos every single day that can help people get better at Madden 22. Or, of course, in the future, we're going to be doing Madden 23 content as well. Uh, I know it's only in February, but Madden 23 is actually not too far in the horizon. And uh, we're going to have a brand new game. Uh, but anyways, let's just jump right into the video. Now, if you're new to the channel, like I said, hit the sub button. Also, if you want to get better at the game, Pi Patreon is your one-stop shop for everything that you need to get better at the game. It's only ten dollars a month, and basically what we do over there is we do eBooks, we do updates, we do pro player breakdowns, and all of that stuff. So I've got eighteen offensive and defensive eBooks over at the Patreon. By joining for just ten dollars a month, you get all of them, including trips tied in, U trips, bunch three through five wide, nickel normal, all that stuff is available in the Patreon for just ten dollars a month. So if you want to sign up for that, that is going to be linked in the description. For just 10 bucks a month, as long as your subscription is active, you get weekly updates over there with new um, twists and tweaks and uh, little uh, little tweaks to all the schemes and stuff like that. Kind of keep you on top of things, as well as any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. So, if you want to get better, the Patreon is the place to look. Today we're talking about blitz beaters, and this is a concept that I've been working on out of the play curl flat that I think you're really going to like. And really, what it's going to do is center primarily around the uh, curl flat and primarily this angle route to the running back is the main route on the play. Um, if you wanted to, you could do this out of other things. You could do this out of halfback angle. Um, you could, if you have high route master, you could do this out of almost anything. Okay, but I do like it out of curl flat. And here's how we're going to set this up. So if you think about most blitzing defenses, you're going to get one of two defenses, right? You're going to get the first one is going to be uh, some type of cover three uh, blitz, right? Three to three under. So you're either going to get this right here, which is um, hard flat. Or if you're playing someone that's decent, they might do something like this with a vert hook over there. And then lastly, you might get a curl flat. So we talk about breaking down zone. Those are the three primary underneath zones that we need to break down. So the first one is hard flat. It's the easiest one to beat because it's just gonna shoot to the outside. So all we're gonna do with this from a setup perspective is I'm gonna hitch the inside slot, which is Scotty Miller. I'm going to zig the outside receiver, which is Mike Evans. And then Gronkowski, what I like to do with him is simply put him on an out route or a flat route, that's up to you. What you're gonna see here is the flats get pulled to the outside and I can hit my hitch. And the hitch is really the the secret sauce of this play. It's the best thing that you can hit against zone coverage. Now let's talk about purple zones for just a second. So let's say that they're using uh, purple zones. The other thing that I like about this hitch is it's really, really hard to use her. Um, it, it's hard to get out there and stop that route, which is one of the main reasons why it's so good. So if you get a purple zone defender, you'll see right here, he'll sit on the hitch. As you saw that, he'll sit on the hitch. So what you can do to kind of what you can also do to kind of combat that is instead of utilizing a zig route to the number one receiver, you can actually go ahead and put him on a smart routed out. That'll still pull the hard flats out of the way. But the beauty of that smart routed out is what you'll see here is that curl flat defender will go back and then I can hit that triangle um, or that little hitch route. Okay. So you can easily, if you wanted to, I mean, heck, you could even just leave the curl. Um, but now it's, you're not oftentimes going to get a per, just a straight purple uh, curl flat. You're going to get some type of seam flat um, if they're going to do a purple zone. But let me hit on the vert hook real quick. So let's say they have a vertical hook. What you're going to see over here on this vertical hook is you can throw your out route. It's wide open. Now if you want to, you could smoke screen that guy as well. Um, but please understand something real quick about this when we talk about the blitz. The idea is we're keen on one defender in conflict. The defender that's in conflict is that slot. So in this scenario, if he stays inside, I know I can throw my zig and I can get it out there and get about 15 yards real, real quick, real, real simple. So you got to understand who you're keen on uh, defensively. Now what's going to happen by very nature of the route is they're going to have to start kind of coming over here. Now I want you to notice something else about this concept. It has built within the play here this post to circle. 
if there's no one that wants to guard him, that's a nice little throw for us as well. So it's almost like we have two hitches, but at the same time we have this post. And why I like the post is because let's say they're going to send pressure at us from man, co from man coverage. If they're going to blitz us from man coverage, this hitch zig combo, really not our main read. We're now going to want to come back over here and say, can we hit that little out route to the tight end? If we can hit the out route to the tight end, we're going to take it nine times out of ten because that's the easiest throw for our quarterback. Why? Because it's away from the user, and that's really important. Now, the next read on that, if it's man, is if they want to step to the post, then we want to throw this route to Bernard right over the middle of the field. As you can see, a very good little blitz beater in its own right, and also something that's going to beat yellow zones, which I'll come back to that in just a second. And then lastly, the thing that we want to see is if they give us enough time we can hit this if they choose to stay down on that running back. We can hit that nice post, and we've given him a lot of room to be able to work over the middle of the field. If it's cover three zone, we can still hit that post. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say it's cover three zone and it's a blitz. They're going to go out. Now you can hit that running back, or you can hit that post as it comes over the middle of the field. So it really comes a lot about where their user steps to. And I'm just telling you from experience, most of the time, a good defensive player <coughs> excuse me, is going to go guard the post, which is going to leave this little uh, angle route wide open underneath for about 15 yards a pop if they don't have anybody to defend there. So now you're going to get in a situation where they can't blitz you. They literally can't afford to. Um, if they want to go with something like this even, I mean, this is a very, very good defense. This is a defense that... A lot of people like to use a Madden, um, but the problem is their user just gets so uh, spun out of control because of who he has to guard, and that's what makes this play so good. So uh, that's pretty much the concept. If you don't, if you want to, you can just go ahead and hitch that player right there and snap it. The reason I don't like to is because I think it's too easy to use her. I, I want them to have to get out here on triangle and actually have to make a play because now that's going to leave that guy wide open over the middle of the field as well. Okay, so that's pretty much how I run this play. One other thing that's real quick is if they don't have a hard flat on the right, throw the out. The out is great. It's a great route. Most people don't use it. And uh, you want to take your little things. If you Madden is all about taking, in my opinion, Madden is all about limiting mistakes, especially this year on offense. You want to take the little things because you just want to simply work, outwork and outbeat the defense. So this is a great way to beat the blitz. You have answers for every coverage that they're going to be able to do out of a blitzing defense. I mean, even the cover two, let me show you this real quick. If they blitz you out of a cover two, like this right here with a shaded down vert hook, they're going to be able to get to your hitch. But the problem is if you look real closely here, your post is wide open and your angle route on the back side is wide open as well. So again, you're putting a lot of their user is going to tell you who to throw to. If he goes to the left, typically you're going to go to the running back. If he goes to the right, you're either going to go to your slot or you're going to go to your outside slot. So thanks for watching the video. Again, if you want to get better at the game, join the Patreon. Only $10 a month unlocks everything. Great deal. If you're still watching and you are looking to get better at the game, head down to the description of the video. Click the link that I put down there, and you can go check out everything that we have to offer you over at our Patreon membership.